First responders at the Pentagon talked at two Kansas City schools today. Jodian Thompson was there. And Jodian, what is the, his main reason for doing this here in Kansas City? Well, he wants to be part of educating our teens about what happened, and those teens who may be too young to remember. And he's encouraging them to know how to handle emergency situations and other crises it may be in their personal lives. It's directly north Most of the students in this room at Manual Career and Technical Center were not even five years old on 9 11. Do you remember 9 11 when it happened? Yes, I, I just remember the tension. Do you remember what happened? Do you remember that day where you were? Not really. I just, I was little. I was like four. Here's something you got to know. But the teacher in this room today. That's scary. Chris Suprin. A plane did all that. Was an adult. He was a volunteer firefighter and responded to the Pentagon after it was hit. Now as the founder of the We Never Forget Foundation, he travels the country talking to high school students. I think the most common questions are usually, what were you thinking? Uh, were you scared? He's teaching history from a first-person account to students studying areas like nursing, construction, and culinary arts. Healthcare providers. My health care providers were doing our thing. We had triage and treatment tents set up. Not only is he talking about that day, but his interaction with the students, sometimes with a humorous approach, <laughs> is his way to promote positive ways for them to deal with typical stressors at their age. We need to be prepared to both hopefully help our team, our community, our neighborhoods, and then help ourselves as well. And Superintendent also visited students at the Boys and Girls Club today and at Frontier School of Innovation. Krista, back to you.